Yeah. All right. Good morning, Chris. How are you, buddy? Good morning. I always said Samuel Jackson should do the voice for my uh, GPS. Yes. Like if you go the wrong way, he lets you know you went the wrong way. That's an excellent <laughs> idea. That's an excellent idea. Um, we wanted to talk to you about a, a financial topic that we saw on the Wall Street Journal. A blogger talking about where is your line when it terms to doing doing it yourself, the DIY project, or going mm -hmm. ahead and hiring a contractor. He gives an example where he tried to do some wiring on his own mm -hmm. and ended up screwing up the job and then maybe ends up costing you more than if you had just gone ahead and hired somebody in the first place. Yeah, I kind of learned my lesson. I, I'm not the, the handiest fellow. So so I, I've learned my lesson with the same type of a situation. If there's any doubt that I don't know how to do it, I'm going to end up hiring somebody because I don't want to end up costing me more. But not to mention the fact that, you know, you, time is so important. And when you get, you know, you're getting kids and you're coaching and you're doing all these various different things, sometimes it's better off hiring somebody to do this stuff, get it done the right way so you can spend more time with your family or do other stuff. And of course, though, make sure you shop around. Try to get somebody yeah. who's not going to rip you off. All right, we want to hear from you on this topic. Uh, what is your dividing line as far as when you do it yourself or when you hire somebody? I always hire mid Thursday, and we are hanging out with our buddy, the watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Happy we, Father's uh, Day to you this weekend. Well, thank you very much. And by the way, I was depressed that those things that Mitch were reading from some of our viewers, I I, I love my dad. Uh, Did I say that? There you go. There you go. That's how you roll. <laughs> is, is there anybody left who loves her yeah. dad? Um, but anyway, uh, we were talking this morning about uh, a blog that we saw in the Wall Street Journal with a guy saying, where's your dividing line between do-it-yourself and hiring that contractor? He gave yeah, an example yeah, of trying to do some school. wiring, mm -hmm. electrical wiring, ended up screwing up the job ended up costing him more money. Well, what do you think? What do you advise people to do in that situation? Um, first, first and foremost, electrical wiring is definitely going to be off my list. I'm going to hire somebody to do it. I also have an intern, okay, that can do some of these things as well for me. So I kind of... <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> anything, that could, anything that could kill you, like electrical uh, wiring? Yeah, it's off the list. Hire somebody else to Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. And yeah, like I said... Uh, time is money, and especially when you have families, a lot of fathers out there, you want to, you, you know, basically value that. You're going to be coaching a team, you have to do some various different things, you have to put a cost on your time. You hopefully already have a full-time job, and the rest of your time yeah. ought to be spent with your Absolutely. family. Absolutely. Hire somebody to do what they're supposed to do. And my kids are not around. old enough to mow the lawn yet, so I can't enslave them and get them doing that but stuff. But that'll be soon. That'll yes. be soon. All right, let us know your thoughts and any financial questions, as always. Send them to us at buzz at dailybuzznow.com. You've been married, James? How many years? Uh, Four years. Four years. Now, I know he's been married four years because I go, do, do you want me to say how old she is? And he goes, oh, yeah, she doesn't mind. Oh, she doesn't care at all. <laughs> James, sh they 35. do. 35. <laughs> 35. All right. Well, Whoa. we know you, the couch should be comfortable tonight. Yeah, okay. Anyway, she's a beautiful 45. lady. Congratulations. <laughs> 45. This is what I found funny. I go, Did what? you say 40? <laughs> I said 35. Oh. I said 45. Oh. She's very lovely. Very yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Yes, now, why did you just say thank you? You had nothing to do with it. Oh, yes, I did. No. Yes. Uh, why did I say that? Your wife is beautiful. Who do you think what? Who do you think pay all the bills? Who pays the bill? She does. <laughs> no. All right. She <laughs> shares birthdays with some folks, so that's why we're doing birthday bonanza. <laughs> Here's our first one. Uh, by the way, Chris Markowski joining us. Joan Van Ark. How old is Joan Van Ark today? Oh, 50. <laughs> uh, 62. I was going to say 61. 55. Well, you got it right on the money, Chris. It is 68 years old today. Can you believe that? 68 years old? Yeah. Olivia Hack. She was uh, uh, in uh, the Brady Bunch family. She played the little one. I can't remember the name. Cindy? Oh. Cindy, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll give her 47. I'll go 45. I'll go 50. 28 years old. You're right on the money today. Oh! She was in the original, not the original, but the other one, the one that they redid back in the day. Well, they're oh. still in the movie. I'm going to have okay. Laura Metcalf. How old is Laura? Uh, 55. Uh, 61. 47. 60. I'm going to actually give this to uh, uh, dear Andy. 56 years old. Oh. One year off. Everybody, here you go. Birthday, my dad. All right, we are hanging out with the watchdog on Wall Street, Chris Markowski, on this Thursday. How are you, buddy? Good morning. How are you? Good. We're talking about uh, DIY projects, do-it-yourself projects this morning. There was an interesting blog on the Wall Street Journal by a guy talking about, you know, where's your dividing line? Uh, wh where do you say, I'm going to tackle this myself. I'm going to go Home Depot. They're going to help me do it. <laughs> or, you know what, I ought to just break down and call the contractor because I might screw up the job and then end up having to call, pay more money in the end. How many times have you done that? You started a project, say, hey, I can handle this. I can do this. And then you're halfway into it, it's like, why? Why, why did I, I even it? start this? Why yeah. did I even bother?
I think for I think though I think it's good to investigate a little bit because sometimes you can get something mm. done yourself and save a lot of money if it's relatively simple. Uh, I think sometimes you're just intimidated because you've never tried it. So I think it's good to go online, do a little research, yeah. and then you can see even from the online steps. Okay, wait, step six, seven, eight, you're losing me. <laughs> uh, but steps one through four, I can handle that. I think it's also key to, to be doing something that you happen to enjoy too. I mean, they have yard yeah, work great, and things like point. that are, are, are fantastic. I mean, for me, I don't mind going outside and planting trees and doing all that sort of stuff. But the inside stuff and trying to build stuff not my thing once again you got to use your time wisely right because time is money yeah, absolutely okay all right mitch what do we got for the uh 